And we'll get into it. We'll just let's talk about the final four. Yeah, let's do it. Duke Carolina. I've, I've said it a thousand times already on Twitter. The winner of that game is losing the title game, no matter what, if Kansas is the opponent. I 100% agree. And it's just like that trade off feeling because you're like, gosh, like there's nothing I want more than to beat Duke or for you to beat Carolina one more time and the rubber match, the third match, avenge Coach K's home loss or end Coach K's career. All and then, bragging rights, all bragging rights for eternity for this game. But then, like, it's just going to be such a letdown because that is their national championship, it feels like. And if one of those teams wins and goes on to play Kansas, they might get stomped. I hate to say that. Like, even as a Carolina fan, I think especially if Carolina beat Duke, they might be gassed and get stomped. Either team. Either team. I think Duke would keep it close. I really do. Yeah. Just because I do think Duke has – because Carolina, you're just like, how is this happening? Like, even as a Carolina fan, you still have to sit there and think, how on earth is this happening? I watched this team in February – get blasted by pit by 20 how yeah. is this happening where someone goes off for 30 every game someone just goes off for 30 i literally sit there i'm like this can't be the same team i watched get shit shit on by wake forest and in, in the in the Lawrence joel and it's crazy. it was the nc central coach i can't remember his name off the top of my head he tweeted out the unc duke game was the best thing to happen to both teams i i think so too i honestly do but here's the thing i know the eternal bragging rights sure it will not erase what happened in Cameron. He, one, he will never. He will never play there. If 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 they win the title, it erases everything that happened in Cameron. He will never play Cameron everything. Again. It it doesn't erase it. It might dampen it, like you know. No, it erases. It, it. does not. It does because not. Because if some Carolina fans are like, oh yeah, we beat you guys in Cameron and Coach K's last game, it's like yeah, we beat you in the final four and won the title. Yeah, I guess. Like you can't like a title trumps everything. And then and I'm coming back with that. You, kind of, you kind of almost wish you kind of almost wish it was the national title game because then it would truly settle everything. Yeah. Everything. And that's the thing. Like it feels like a national title game. It, it feels like this is the end all be all game, but yet the winner has one more game to play in, th- in theory. And it's a bigger game. It's a national championship. Exactly. And it's a lot like this is a random analogy. Houston Louisville in the 1983 semifinals, they had, Probably, if you watch the highlights, I mean, there was like 10,000 dunks in that game. Clyde Drexler jumped over a dude. Unbelievable right. game. Then they have to go against NC State in the next game. And State won. Exactly. That, that, it feels, that is a good analogy because it just feels like that. It just feels like this is the Super Bowl for both teams. And it's just the biggest letdown spot in sports. But we can talk about story. There's a lot of storylines possible here because Carolina wins and Nova wins. Carolina revenge match for 2016, and that's incredible. Oh, yeah. Duke, if Duke wins and Kansas plays each other, Coach K won his first title in 91 against Kansas. Yep. They And then Coach K wins his last title against Kansas. Grant Hill's on the call. Yeah. Minor, 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 minor storyline. You know, Carolina, if they play Kansas, Floyd Williams coached to Kansas first, so we'll just be trying to. That is a true – that's a good one, too. Yeah. So, and then I also, mean, Duke Nova – because I think this is also – I mean, I, don't, I really don't think Nova wins. I don't think Duke wins, but we'll get into that. Um, Duke Nova, if Jay Wright did beat Duke, Jay Wright is going to eventually probably be the best coach in college basketball history. He would Bill be on Nova, track. They are consistently at the top, and people are arguing now, are they a blue blood? I dare say yes. In college basketball, 100% they, ha- yes. they, they have been consistent. Titles. They've been so much better than Kentucky ever, ever has been in the last – however many years Cal Party 20 been yeah they've been consistently been at the top in national title games 2018 2016 always been near the top always making a deep run where's Kentucky losing to St. Peter's in the first round like yep. if they're considered Cal Party's the biggest fraud oh yeah and Jay Wright's so much on a different level than him Jay, Jay Wright's incredible and he's getting because everyone's been all the talk shows are talking about these like larger than life coaches like Dean Smith Roy Williams John Wood and Bobby Knight all that I think the only one that is honestly capable of that right now is probably Jay Wright because that dude is about to reach a whole nother level. If he can win a third title in what? And that would be third title in six years, I think six or five, really, because the tournament got canceled. 16, yeah, 17, 16, 18, 19. So, but like technically so six, six, but six really tournaments. five tournaments. Six, tur- six, six tur- tournaments. Yeah. Six, yeah, six tournaments. That's crazy. That's incredible. I mean, there's unbelievable storylines going into this. And, and you're going to be there. I am going to be there. We are. My cousin and I are going to be down there. You might be there. You probably will be there. 
Yeah, see, the, the thing is, this is like Carolina fans. This is how they work. The, you know, wine and cheese club. You're getting wine to dine. You're taking an easy plane ride right, right into dined. You're getting wine and dined into an easy plane ride into New Orleans. You're going to stay at a nice hotel right near the stadium, have yep. food catered, pregame activities, and everything. I'm doing the grit and grind approach. Oh my Joe Dirt out here. <laughs> Tell you what, man. Yeah, exactly. Grit and grind. I'm flying from a tiny airport in Idaho down to Dallas. I have to, t- and then catch, I have to hitchhike a five hour ride all the way to, to Covington, Louisiana. Shout out Theo Vaughn. Gosh, you, you poor, you poor little boy car. I'm so sorry you're having to do this. Who's forcing you to do all and this the, horrible work? And then I'm going to have to sleep in the backyard in a, in a backyard in Covington, Louisiana, where there's <laughs> gators nearby. Oh my gosh. Hey, you know what? It's going to be worth it though. We talked about it. You said you'd drive a gazillion miles to go to this game. And I would too, because that was the original plan. And then I was like, senior year, let's just ball out. You know, whatever. I, I had no intentions on going to this game and I still don't even know if I'm going to go or not. It's still 50, 50. If I go. Yeah. I have to go. I think you do. Cause this, let's be honest. Even making a final four in general is maybe not once in a lifetime, but once I, every even couple decades, made, maybe even just Duke made the final four. I still don't think I, I don't think I would go. Duke yeah. Carolina like this that was never real. it hasn't settled in yet because I'm still like I'm still thinking about like Duke Carolina man that would suck but I'm like it's actually happening this Saturday yeah, yeah exactly and it's not like <laughs> it's not like there's another game to like prevent it or something like that is the next game and on top of that it's never happened before in the tournament nonetheless the final four and it probably won't ever happen again like I don't cons- I don't see this ever happening in the final four again no I don't think this ever happens ever again. This is once in a lifetime. And to say you were there, like even obviously I'm going to be heartbroken. Yeah, exactly. And another thing too is you're going to be on the floor right next to the basket on TV. I'm going to be, you know, crawling with the rats in the 600 level with my binoculars trying to watch the game, just see a glimpse of a basketball. (laughs) Here's the thing though. If Carolina loses, I'm going to be heartbroken. But what a sporting event to be at. You have to go. Like People are saying it might be the most watched college basketball game ever it i think has to. there's probably be, has to be yeah no way it's not 